Hey folks, my name is Emily and today is November 22nd, 2020 and I'm here today with episode number 10 of 108 Stitches, which is a mostly knitting video podcast with a little bit of baseball and maybe some other crafty things, which I do have a little bit of other crafting to share with you today. Um, I'm coming to you from Seattle, Washington. Um, where I live with my husband office and our pup Norman, which you may be able to hear. He's a little active right now, running around. You can hear his little um, feet pattering around. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of an unconventional episode for uh, for you all today. Um, I don't have tons of knitting content, mostly just because I have been pretty monogamous with my knits uh, this week. I've been working mostly on just one project. But I do have a giveaway winner, so thank you so much to everyone who entered the giveaway. Um, we'll get to that shortly. And then I'm actually going to go through all my hand-knit sweaters because some some people had asked for that in the, um, in the comment thread that I had a couple episodes back about what you are interested in seeing from me in the future. And some people were interested in seeing all my sweaters, and I don't have tons to go through, so I thought... Maybe we could do that. So here they are, all are stacked up. I am wearing one, but I'll give you the details about it um, a little bit later once I start going through the sweater. So let's start with the giveaway winner. Really excited about this. Thank you all so much for um, all of your comments and for engaging with the with the content and for um, just, yeah, just for entering. Um, we had 111 entries, which uh, is so exciting, is more than I expected. So um, just for full transparency and everything, I did draw for this, so today is Sunday, November 22nd. I used uh, some site that randomly selects a, um, a comment from a YouTube post. So uh, everyone was only entered once, so if you commented multiple times on the post, um, you were only entered into the giveaway one time and like replies to comments didn't count as well. So we had 111 entries and um, the winner is Brianna Whalen. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, congratulations, thank you so much for entering. Um, I'll put up here your, your comment and maybe also the little uh, output of the random draw generator or whatever. Um, but thank you so much and yeah, congratulations. So what you are winning, let me grab it here. Uh, you are winning a skein of Socks That Rock in the Colorway Hobbit Garden, which is just so fun. And then also this handmade bento bag um, out of some metallic linen. So yeah, if uh, I don't really know how to contact people via YouTube. So Brianna, if you could message me either on Instagram or Ravelry, that would be excellent. And just so you can let me know your address and then I would love to get this in the mail to you. So. Thank you so much to everyone who entered and congratulations to Rihanna. Um, yeah, so that is the that was the giveaway. So um, before I go into my sweaters, I do want to just give you a quick update on my crafting for the week. Um, I feel like I'm saying um a ton. I need to try to stop that, but now it's in my head. <laughs> oh, I just did it. Okay. Uh, I have a finished object. For you all, um, it is not a knitting finished object. This is actually a sewing finished object, and I'm wearing it right now. Um, shoot, there it is again. Uh, I so I sewed this. Well, it's my skirt that I'm wearing right now. I'll try to stand up. You may not be able to see it well. Maybe if I, I wonder if I stand on the couch, you can see it <laughs> better. Yeah, you can actually see it pretty well there. So here it is, I'll do a little twirl on the couch. Um, has pockets too. So let me come back down and talk about it. This is the lolly skirt. Um, the pattern is from LB Textiles, I believe. The information will be down below. I may have said that wrong. It's E-L-B-E -E, Textiles. It was a free pattern when I got it. Uh, I got the pattern, oh gosh. A, maybe a few months ago, I think actually, it was just a it was a free pattern that they had on their website. But I don't think it's on their website anymore. So I don't know if you can still get the pattern elsewhere. 
Uh, I, it probably isn't free anymore though, uh, but it's just a simple gathered skirt. I The fabric I used was actually a birthday gift from my Grammy, so thank you so much for the fabric. This is, the, the fabric is from Blackbird. Is that the name? I have the tag here, let me make sure. Yes, Blackbird Fabrics. Where's the tag? Um, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, from Blackbird Fabrics, which is an online fabric store. This is not focusing, but you get it. Um, and the fabric is their viscose linen crepe, which is 85% viscose, 15% linen. I don't like I don't watch sewing podcasters really, so I don't really know what information I'm supposed to. I guess supposed to. I don't know what information is useful for you all to know about the fabric or the pattern or whatever. Um, and I'm still so new to sewing. I guess I can get into that a little bit. Um, <laughs> I made the second size, I believe. Um, and am I happy with it? So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I... <laughs> This is the first time I've ever done pockets and I'm very happy with the pockets. They have, I don't know if you can see this very well, but there's like this little kind of binding here. I don't think, it's too dark. I don't think you can see that, but there's like a binding here on the pocket and I'm really happy with how that went. I think the finish looks really nice and I'm very proud of the pockets that I made on this skirt. The waistband is another thing. Um, I attempted this waistband three times. This is my third attempt at the waistband. The first one, I read the instructions wrong and I messed it up. That was my fault. The second time, I, I fully did, well actually I guess I kind of did it four times. The second time I fully did it and I was, um, I was unhappy with the way that the gather looked. Like I felt like the gather was uneven and um, it just looked really messy. Then I did it, so I unpicked it and I did it again and the fabric was just like way too, this fabric doesn't unpick so super well, it just like, it was really raggedy kind of and um, so when I did it again it also turned out really bad. Then I decided to cut the waistband off and do it again and that's what I have now and I'm still not 100% happy with it. Um, I think the front actually looks pretty good, but the back does not look great. Um, it looks pretty uneven, and you can see that I was struggling with it, I think. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the gather, but just like the line is not straight where I connected the waistband to the skirt. And so, I don't know, I got really frustrated when I was doing this last night. I I don't know. I like knitting much more than I like sewing. This was very stressful for me and like my back and neck hurt when I was done because the way I was like hunched over my sewing machine. Um I think I'll keep sewing, like I'll keep trying. I want to get better and I, I'm hoping that this is the kind of thing where like I'll look back at this skirt in the future and I'll think like, wow, look at how much I've learned. Like I all of my garments look much better than that now, <laughs> but right now I'm not feeling super proud, I guess, of what I made. Um, I do think it's really wearable, and honestly, I almost always, when I'm wearing like, skirts or pants, I tuck my shirts in in the front, and I leave them untucked in the back, so the messy part is going to be covered by my shirt. So I probably will wear this a lot. And I love the fabric. I forgot to say that. How Norman, come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Here's Norm. Um, I really do like the fabric. It's so flowy. Oh, I forgot to say also, I lengthened the skirt. I made it longer than the pattern called for. Um, Anyway, I, that, I know this is supposed to be mostly a knitting podcast, so I don't want to talk about this for, like, most of it, but that is my lolly skirt, and it's my finished object, and I guess you can say I have mixed feelings about it. Okay, knitting 
whips. So I have two works in progress for this week. Um, my first one, both of these I talked about last time, so I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. Norman, what are you doing? Smooch? Thank you. Um, what? My first one uh, is my, my Christmas socks. So here they are. This is the second sock. I finished the first one really quick last week. Um, I think I have it in here. Yeah, here's the first one. Um, this is just a vanilla sock with a fish lips kiss heel. So the yarn is the, the most of the foot here is nomadic yarns in their twisty sock base, which I think is an 80, 20 merino nylon, uh, in the colorway Christmas past. And then the heels, toes and cuffs are just some leftover yarn that I had. It's Madeline Tosh in the Tarte colorway. I don't remember what base it is. Um, yeah, so I knit this one last week. Uh, I This is 52 stitches on a US one and a half, which I think is fewer stitches than people normally do for adult socks, but I have really skinny feet and maybe my gauge is big. I don't know, but this is this sock fits like a dream. It's much tighter than my socks tend to be, and I really like the fit of it. Okay, um, you may have noticed that some things changed here. The lighting changed a little bit, and my sweaters are all not piled up very neatly anymore. Um, the reason for that is because I accidentally deleted most of the rest of my podcast. Um, I'm very bummed about it. And so I don't have the camera battery or the mental fortitude to go through the whole thing again right now, to be honest with you. Um, I mentioned earlier in the podcast, I was gonna go through all of my hand knit sweaters and I did that and that video is now missing. So I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I'm just gonna finish talking about my whips and we're gonna call it a day. So this is probably gonna be a shorter one and I'm really sorry for that. And I will put up a video where I go through all of my hand knit sweaters. Uh, but it will not be for another little bit just because I'm not going to do that all again today. So I think I was talking about these socks. Sorry, the lighting is so much worse now. It's darker and I had to turn on the lights in the room. So I think the lighting is really weird now and the colors are probably really weird. But the these I was talking about, um, I am doing them as part of Amy Florence's uh, festive sock along. The hashtag for that is hashtag festive sock along 2020 and she's doing it both on Instagram and Ravelry and you can check out the information for that. It runs through the end of November and I'm going to try to finish these socks for that. Um, I was originally planning on knitting another pair of socks for that as well and I did not. I'm not going to get to that um, but hopefully I'll finish these in time. My only other work in progress this week is my uh, test knit for Haley of Ozetta. I am. I talked about this last week as well. This is the oversized seasons cardigan, and um, yeah, here it is. This is mine. My progress. I uh, last week I had just kind of split for the sleeves, I think, and I had knit maybe an inch or two underneath. Um, the sleeve openings and so I finished the body. I did my tubular bind off on the end here and it's the first time I've ever done one and I think it turned out pretty well actually. It's really nice and I am really happy with it and then I have started this sleeve. So I'm hoping that I can finish this in the next week or so. Um, we'll see. I've been working on it pretty monogamously. That's kind of why I haven't gotten a ton of other stuff done but um, I'm really happy with it. I think it's going to be so cozy and the yarn again is Peace Fleece Worsted and the colorway is Palomino. It is a 75% Rambouillet, 25% mohair and it's a little bit toothier. It's a little bit more rustic. That's why uh, if you remember from last week uh, I mentioned that my husband calls it my beef sweater. <laughs> yeah um, but I do think it'll be really nice and warm and cozy so I'm really looking forward to having the finished object. Yeah, at this point I was going to go through my sweaters and I'm just going to skip that and I'm going to do the little bits that I have at the end of the podcast, life things. Um, so I have been 
Oh, I guess I was going to talk a little bit. I don't have any acquisitions this week, but my advent calendars did. Well, my first advent calendar came in, so I ordered two advents. My first one was my Grenoui uh, advent calendar. It is, um, yeah, it's from Grenoui. It's your standard 24 mini skein. So um, open one every day of December leading up until Christmas, and then there's a full skein on uh, December 25th. And it has arrived and I promptly gave it to my husband's office and told him to hide it because I knew that I would want to open it and he did and I have not looked for it. I'm very proud of myself for that. And so it is hidden somewhere in this house. Um, and then I also ordered a seven day advent calendar from Stacy of Stress Knits and it has not arrived yet, but it has shipped. And my plan for that one, just to kind of spread out the love a little bit, is that I'm going to start opening it, I think, on Thanksgiving evening. Because I often, I consider, like, Thanksgiving night to be the transition into Christmas time and, like, the Christmas season. Um, and so I'm going to start opening it, like, one or two mini skeins a day between Thanksgiving and December 1st. So that way I have it um, from Thanksgiving all the way till Christmas. I'll have a little bit of yarny love to open every day and I'm really excited about that but I probably won't post the stress knits um mini skeins like I won't include those in like on Instagram or in my podcasts or like if I do vlogmas which I still haven't really decided I don't think I'm going to do it every day but I may do it once a week or something little vlogs I'm I'm not really sure what we'll do but I'm not going to show those because I don't know when um in December those colorways are going to be revealed for the folks that got the full advent calendar but I will maybe show some of my Grenoui ones so that you all can see that. Um, what else? We started playing a new Overcooked expansion. So if you are unfamiliar, I, do, I did talk about this earlier on in my podcast. But um, Overcooked is a co-op video game. So it's like two players and you work together to chop ingredients and assemble dishes and deliver them and it's kind of like timed and like you can fail if you're too slow and that kind of stuff and office and I love to play it together and we started playing a new expansions so they have lots of expansions they have new ones come out every season and we're almost all the way caught up all the way through all the expansions but we started a new one it's like a summer themed one this week that we've been playing which I love I always enjoy that and what else? We are prepping for Thanksgiving, so we are staying at home this year for Thanksgiving. Um, we It's just going to be the two of us, Nafis and I, in our house here. We are still going to cook quite a bit of food, though, just because I was not ready to sacrifice the Thanksgiving food. And we've done Thanksgiving in the past, just the two of us. And, you know, it's kind of fun. I like having some of the leftovers. But we're going to do we, – we never make a turkey for just the two of us because it's too much. But we are going to do turkey legs. Um, Malthus brines and rubs the turkey legs and it makes them very tasty, very good. So it should be delicious with some of the, your traditional sides, a little green bean casserole, a little bit of stuffing, some cranberry sauce. Um, Malthus doesn't love sweet potatoes, but I'm going to probably make some just for myself to eat, like maybe this week. Uh, so that should be really yummy. Looking forward to that. Um, and then for those of you who follow along on our Sunday breakfasts. Today is Sunday and this morning was a pumpkin pancake week. So all through the fall, we make pumpkin pancakes every other week and then we try something new in the other weeks. So this was a pumpkin pancake week. We had pumpkin pancakes this morning. It's kind of a tongue twister and uh, it was very yummy. So yeah, I think that's really all. Oh, um, I did want to mention you may have seen this on um, on Instagram, I talked about how we went to Coleman Park, and um, we just walked to the park yesterday. It was really lovely weather, and we got a little bit of outside time, and that was really nice, so you can check out the pictures on there. But it was just a little bit of a treat, and I wasn't expecting it, and we really enjoyed that. Um, baseball is going to be pretty brief this week as well, my baseball section. I just got a couple questions that I wanted to answer. Uh, both of them were from Hannah Curtis which unsurprisingly from the last name, that is my sister. Uh, and her first question was, is your sister cool? So um, <laughs> in the same vein to a question that I got last week from a Nafis Zaman, is your husband cool? But I will say that, yes, I very much think that my sister is cool. I think she's definitely cooler than me. Um, I love her very much, and I love knitting for her. She's one of my favorite people to knit for. She appreciates it a lot, and she always looks really good in her knits. So. 
Um, yes, I think my sister is cool. Her other question was, is a cat, it, does it count as a catch if uh, in baseball, if a fielder catches a fly ball and then their glove comes off uh, with the ball in it and the ball stays in the glove. And the answer is unfortunately no, that is not a catch. Um, there is some wording in the rule book about control and holding the ball. And so if uh, the ball is separate like from the player's body, even if it's in the glove, it does not count as a catch, unfortunately. So um, yeah, that's really all I have. Um, my battery is probably going to die soon, and so I, I want to make sure to sign off here um, before it does. But thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for what was kind of a disjointed episode, and uh, I hope to bring you all my sweaters sometime in the near future and maybe some other fun vloggy or, you know, some of the other ideas that you all shared in my um, giveaway thread. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you have a great week, and yeah, I just... I. I'm screwing up my <laughs> little line here, but um, I hope you all watch lots of baseball and knit lots, and that's out of order, but I hope you have a great week, and thank you so much. Bye.